hand off my penis! Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to the channel again. Thank you so much for joining me. Here's a surprise. Here's something that you didn't expect to see today. We're going to be talking about a wallet. Now, everything that I do is in some way EDC related on my YouTube channels. This to me is quite honestly the ultimate EDC. There are two things in your life that you absolutely never, ever, ever leave your home without. Your wallet and your keys. Well, let's make that three things. Your wallet, your keys, and your cell phone. So this is the truest of EDC items. Now, recently I came out and talked to you about this super awesome wallet. This was the Vice Hardware Wallet. And from the day I got it until the day I ordered this, or the day I received this, I had been carrying this, and I do really, 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 really love it. This is the most minimalistic wallet that I've ever had. It's actually been super high quality and has been more than just a friggin' card holder. Now, there's going to be a lot of you guys out there going, I carry this wallet and that wallet and the Ridge wallet and the... No, you're not. You're carrying a card holder. It's a glorified rectangle with a, a hollow inside that cards go into. Ooh. Or it's got a bunch of rubber bands between two pieces of flat metal. That's not a wallet. You're not reliably carrying cash. You're not able to properly display an ID. Those are what wallets are. Now, I say that, but that's in a sense what this is. Now, I can choose to carry my IDs in a different section than my money and my cards. Sure, and that's important to me is separating the two. But in the end, I'm still accessing everything in the same area and everything's just stacked together instead of the cards all being separated. Like when you open a wallet, a standard wallet, maybe you have three cards on this side, three cards on this side, and three more tucked behind. That's not the way this is. So this would be like carrying a Travax or, is that what they're called, Travax? or a, a Ridge wallet or something because all the cards are stacked and you have to kind of go through them to get to your stuff. However, this does something no other wallet does. And this is the only reason I switched from this, which is a really wonderful, minimalistic, slim, easy carry, to this. Because I wanted to be able to carry at all times a flashlight, and a knife, no matter what. If I somehow, some way, am in a hurry to rush out the door and I forget to throw a knife in my pocket, I've always got one of my Jack Wolf knives slip joints. It's almost always this one, which is one of my absolute favorites. It's slim, it's narrow, it's small, it's very easy to carry, and it fits in here really, really well. And then I have my Raylite Mini Pineapple Titanium. Now, I like this because it's the battery size is a triple A battery size. So it's very small, very skinny, and slips right in there. And there's another pouch right over here on this side as well. So I could realistically, if I, if I really felt the need to, I could jam this over there. And I could put a slightly larger light over here. Or put another knife over here. Or maybe carry a small, short pencil or pen. I just don't feel the need to do that. I think this is quite enough for me. The front slot you can use for putting coins in or separating your IDs. And I used to do that. I used to keep my IDs right in here. But when I've got a knife in here, it became a little bit of a challenge to get my IDs out of there. And that's when I realized, well, duh, inside of here, there is a separator. So back here, I keep my debit card and whatever credit cards I want to carry. So let's take these and my uh, insurance card, 
All that stuff goes back there. And then my driver's license and my multiple state carry permits I keep up front. They're always accessible immediately. So, because I get pulled over a lot, I speed a lot. So I want to be able to get to that very, very quickly before the state trooper gets to my window because I don't want to be reaching for anything as they're approaching the car. This is quick and simple to get out. Boom, I'm done. The other reason I really, really like the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro is that I can go from front pocket carry to back pocket carry to dropping this into a fanny pack or a sling bag or whatever I want. And it's all one unit. I've got all my money, cash, cards, IDs, knife and light, everything in one unit all together that I can drop into one of those bags and go about my day. Because there are times that I'm going to be carrying where, let's say I'm going to a doctor's appointment. And I know that I'm going to have to lift my shirt or take my shirt off or in some other way expose the gun that I'm carrying, right? Well, I don't want to freak out doctors or nurses, especially if they're not gun people and maybe they're anti-gun and it'll really, really offend them, really bother them in some way. Um, I am a true asshole, but I don't want to make people purposefully uncomfortable or even scared because a gun can scare people, but I'm not going to leave my house unprotected. I'm going to have a gun with me at all times. So I can throw a gun in one of my, my carry specific sling bags or fanny packs that have holsters built in. Then all I've got to do is drop this into there, click it on. I'm out the door. When I get to the doctor's office, Typically, when almost every doctor I go to, the first thing I do is they're, when they're walking down the hallway, they stop you at a scale and make you get on the scale. So I unclip it and I lay it on the counter there. I weigh myself without my, you know, two and a half pounds of gear on, and then I carry on. And then I could take that entire pack with my gun, my knife, my flashlight, everything all together and lay it on the chair as I'm being examined and everything's all together. I'm not an off-body carry person, but that's one of the situations where I do like to have one of those pouches or packs with me because it makes sense. And with this, all of my essentials are right here and I can't forget to, to, to put my wallet or excuse me, to put my IDs or my carry permits or my credit cards or cash or maybe coins if I'm carrying coins in here. I won't forget to have any of those with me when I go from carrying in my pockets to dropping stuff into that bag. Everything is taken care of together. So I think if you want to get your life really organized, this is an excellent way to do it. Now, these are what they call weatherproof materials. It's RFID blocking. I know it doesn't seem like it because it just seems like a canvas pouch, but it is RFID blocking. You have the weatherproof zippers. So if you get caught out in a rainstorm, it's not a big deal. This can get wet. Now, you're not going to submerge it and soak it, but it is water repellent. No issues there. These are the YKK AquaGuard zippers. All the fabrics are water resistant. And you've got the one zippered pouch out here, the main zippered pouch here that has the separator or divider. Separator is not a good word to use for that. Then you have one, two, and three external pouches that you can put, I don't know, a pry bar, a multi-tool. If you're a smoker, put your lighter. You could put your flashlights. Any EDC gear that's slim and narrow, you can fit in there and not junk up your pockets. That's another big reason I love this. When I carry my slip joints, especially like this, my Midnight Jack, one of my favorite knives of all time, even though I use it a lot and I carry it every single day, I don't want it banged up and scratched up. So I have to carry it generally in the leather slip that Jack Wolf Knives supplies in their packaging. So I've got this in a wide leather slip plus my car keys and whatever else in my front left pocket. 
then my front right pocket is only for my folding knife, period. I don't put anything else in there. I'm not going to bang up a $500 or $2,000 or $5,000 knife because I wanted to put car keys or change in that pocket. That shit ain't happening. So all of this stuff, it's a pocket organizer as well, and it's protecting my expensive EDC gear. Now, I realize $300 is not expensive for a knife for those of us in the community, but there are a lot of people watching right now that are not knife collectors. They're like, dude, you're spending $300 on a knife? That's kind of insane. Well, I'm also able to protect it. So my car keys aren't scratching up my knife. They're not scratching up my titanium flashlight. You could scratch up the clip, but that could get scratched up carrying it in your pocket as it's normally intended to be carried anyway. So it's all the same. So I'm protecting my EDC gear. Nothing's knocking and sliding up against each other. And I'm organizing my life all in one little pouch. It's fantastic. Now, I was a little bit skeptical at first. I'm like, man, this is kind of chick-like. It's almost like carrying a little tiny mini purse. You know, am I really going to be into that? And I'll tell you right now, once you start getting your life organized in this manner, you don't want to go back. I have flip-flopped back and forth between that and my Vice wallet. I'm always relieved when I go back to this. I love this wallet. This is so great for front pocket carry. And I determine the thickness by how many cards I put in here. And then back here, I slide in my driver's license, my carry permits for multiple states, and then a tri-folded cash right up in there. And everything's all super easily accessible. And it's one-hand accessible. You can't quite do it one-handed when there's nothing in it. But this is a one-handed wallet. This is fantastic. But I like that everything is held in place, secured with zippers. It's water resistant. And I've got my knife. And I've got my light. If I wanted to carry my Vero Engineering pry bar, I can slip that in there. Which actually, it's not a bad idea. I should probably do that. And it's all compact and fits in my pocket easily. So if you've been looking for an alternative to the way you carry your stuff, you might want to look into these. It's 35 bucks, man. What have you got to lose? 35 bucks. I chose this color because I wanted a brightish color. I'm the kind of person that if I take my card out to pay for something, like let's say I hand it to a server, I don't ever put my wallet back in my pocket until I've gotten whatever card I've taken out until I've gotten that back. Then it goes in my pocket. But if I was distracted and I laid this down on the table or laid this down on the counter at, I don't know, PetSmart or something, my eyes are more likely to pick up this bright orange material than a black wallet or a gray piece of aluminum and titanium. The, if I had to do it all over again... They have a new colorway, which I would go for this time around. It's a bright blue, so you have a bright external color, but then it's this same bright orange on the interior, so it's actually easier to fish around inside. I don't have to worry about there's shadows in there. It's a little bit dark. It would be super bright inside and out. When I got this, if you got a bright color on the outside, it was the gray interior. Didn't really bother me. But now that I see that newer option with the brighter blue and then the blaze orange inside, I would go that route. So anyway, check them out if you're looking for something different. I think they're pretty fantastic. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. So unfortunately, I cannot offer you any sort of discount codes or anything, but they're often running sales. So check them out. I will warn you. The second you register your account to buy one of these, you're going to get friggin' spammed like crazy. They're one of those rabid brands that does not stop spamming you. I'm pretty certain I've gotten an email every single day for the last six months. I don't believe they've ever gone a day without sending me a stupid, useless message. Now, I don't have a need for their other products, but they do have fanny packs and stuff like that that I, I think people find uh, to be good quality. Maybe, I don't know. 
So I don't really need their constant friggin' marketing emails and discount coupons and all that kind of crap. And it's, it's just another, another one of those things where I have to click on subscribe and get out from under it. And I'm tired of it, man. I get so much of that crap. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on the Alpaca Zip Pro. <laughs> Say that three times fast. The Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro for 35 bucks. Thanks for joining me as always, and I'll see you on the next video.